that's new. Okay, great. All right, everybody, we'll begin class with our salute. Welcome, welcome to our final class for this section. Um, today is our final time together, but it's not the final time for you to be studying section one. So we'll tell you about that as we go on today. Uh, welcome to those of you who came. It's so nice to see a group here since it's a holiday and I knew people were away. I didn't know who would be here, but I see some of our loyal members of our group. So welcome everybody. And welcome back, Dave. Yeah, good to see you. And Rebecca, always good to see you. Hey, Carol, good, beautiful backdrop as always. All right. So what we're going to do today is certainly practice section one, and I hope I uh, hear from you a little bit about moves that you like. I'm going to ask you some questions about that, and we'll practice them. And then certainly questions uh, that you might have um, at, at this point, any question of all. We're going to practice in a couple different ways today. So we'll start. Um, I thought we'd just for the sake of reinforcing everything that we've been doing, we'd start by checking in with our bodies. And remembering how we get our Tai Chi body uh, prepared. So I'm going to put my feet shoulder width apart. You might notice I have different shoes on today. I'm having a foot problem. So I think I need some new Tai Chi shoes, but these are going to be for today. They're not quite as visible, but I hope you can see them. I'm going to stand here momentarily to find that position in my body where I lift my head up as if it's being pulled up by a string and the rest of my body hangs down suspended like clothes on a hanger. And we're going to find our tree posture, which we've used throughout the class. I'm going to bend my knees a little bit and circle my arms as if I'm hugging a great big tree. And when I do this, I continue to lift my head, pushing upward while my body hangs down. My hips are downward, pointing to the, my tailbone is sort of pointing to the background. And I've, I've got this hugging feeling in front. This is my nice, big, expanded feeling where I'm not limp, but I'm not tense. I'm not so tense that I feel tension and I want to be able to breathe completely through my midsection, all right? My shoulders relax down, my elbows droop a little bit so that I don't have them up here. And I can breathe comfortably in this posture. This is our our tree posture, it's expanded because in the Yang family form, we want big expanded movements. And we call this position relaxed in Tai Chi because we're not limp, but we're not temp. We're not tense. We're sort of extending all the points from shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, where we have tendons and we have ligaments connecting bones that they just stretch into comfortable. We can even feel our back stretching wider so that we can feel that position. And this is our Tai Chi body, we breathe. And now we can stand up. And I'm going to stand and we will get into our prepare posture. I'll face you still for a moment, then turn around. From this position, I still have my head up, my shoulders hanging down with the rest of my body. I'm gonna really feel my feet on the ground, connecting with the ground. I feel the bubbling well behind the sole, and I also feel my heels on the ground and my toes are on the ground. So like all the points of my feet are connected to the ground. And my fingertips are reaching downward, I'm stretching all the way down. My fingertips are along where the, the seams of my pants are and I have little space underneath my armpits so that I'm not collapsed in. And this is our prepare position. We're going to take this with us into section one. So from here, prepare. I'll call out the moves now. Later on, we're going to practice again without me calling out so much of the information. All right? Prepare. Opening. Rotating and lifting up to shoulder height. Then floating down, upper arms, elbows, forearms, and our hands, fingers are pointing forward. Left, ward off. Shift left, and then open your body to the right. 
Move weight to the right, bend knees, your arms circle, close, step with the heel. Move forward into a bow step as you turn, and your left arm is to three o'clock. Right pushing down, right word up, coming across your body, foot comes in. Then come back to the left as you grab with the left hand, arms are open. You're going to close, step with the heel, move forward, and when you finish, your left fingertips point to right forearm. Roll back, turning, rotating your arms. They go to your corner. You're waving with that right hand. Shift weight back, pull across to the left. Press, circle in the right arm, left palm on forearm. Push forward with the legs and expand with your arms. Push, open your body to three o'clock. Move weight back, palms are flat. Now they come over a ball. Then you push with the legs and the arms, and you end up, fingertips up. Single whip. Move weight back and your arms flatten. You're going to pull someone around by bending that left arm, turning, coming back, shifting weight to the right, palms in front of you. Now, make a hook as you ward off left hand. Pick up left hand, step, rotate, move, and strike. You're looking at 9 o'clock. Raise hands, step forward, turn right, shift left, open that right hook, circle back, heel touch, then you turn your torso as you close your arms in front of you. White cream. We rotate our arms, pull as we rock back. Circle, close, step to the corner, shift weight, turning to nine o'clock, ball touch, empty stance. Spreading your wings there. Left brush knee. Rotate your arms, see your right palm, right down, left up, swing to the corner, step with the heel. Swing left, arm in right, turning, striking. Hand strokes the loop. Yield as you reach forward, step in now, push back with the ball, turn your torso, heel touch, empty stance. Left brush knee. Moving back, swinging and stepping. Sweeping, turn, strike. Right brush knee. Move weight to middle, lift left. Your arms close in the middle while your body turns. Move forward, swing and step. Sweep, turn, strike. Left uh, brush and knee. Lift back, move back, lift. Now move forward, swing, step. Sweep. Hand strums the loop. Yield forward, step in. Push back on the ball as you turn your torso to 1030. Heel touch, empty stance. Left brush knee, swing and step. Arm in and strike. Step forward, parry, block, and punch. Move to middle, lift left arm. Starts like right brush knee. Move forward, make your fist turn, step one line, two sides. Come forward now, step out and block, fist by your right hip, turn square and punch. Your left palm is across from your right forearm. Apparent closing up. As you turn left, that left hand flattens, rotate it to come up, rotate right arm, you cross left under right. Now move, shift back as you turn right. You've got a nice big tree here. Turn square close to your chest and push. Cross hands. As you move back, you're turning little triangle hands, toe to 12 o'clock, chop to the right. Shift left, palms back, close touch, heel down, empty stance. Or excuse me, equal stance, double board off. Now we're going to close. Stand and extend your arms in front of you. Palms are up, little circles from the shoulders, and push down just like in the beginning as if you're pushing through water. And you pause when you get to the bottom, and then go back to the original. And that is section one, which we have been working our way through and practicing. So let me just check, make sure I've said hello to everybody. Good, okay. 
So how's everybody feeling today? Those of you who I can see, how are you feeling? Yeah. Oh, great, great. Hey, Michelle, good. Thanks for coming on. Great point. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is I want to check in with you. So I know some of you, a lot of you are muted, but if you could unmute for a minute, if everybody could unmute for a minute, uh, just so I can um, hear from those of you who care to share with us. Um, I would like to uh, hear from you what portions of uh, section one that you really love. I would just like to hear what you love about section one. So maybe there's a portion you like a lot. If you don't feel that you love anything yet, maybe there's a portion you, you like a lot or that you really enjoy doing a lot. What can, what can you tell me? Michelle, can you tell me something about that, what you like? <laughs> the left and right brush knees, that whole sequence going back and forth. Yeah, the brush knee sequence. That's a great sequence. We will practice that. Okay, you could yeah. go. Tell me something you like. You're going to have to unmute. You could go. Tell me something you like. Me too. You uh, like the like, brush knees? Yes. Okay, well, we got two <laughs> votes for brush knee sequence. Okay, Michelle, what do you like about the brush knee sequence? Well, I think I like the swaying, the arms, the way the arms move and sway and how the body kind of sways too with it. It's, mm -hmm. it's like a dance move. Mm -hmm. You know, what you're describing, I bet you like the coordination of the upper and lower body because when you yes. swing and step, that's a really nice feeling. Yeah. 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 Good. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, John Smith, is there anything in section one that you like? <laughs> uh, I'm I actually like like up through uh, the uh, the white crane lift wings, mm -hmm. and then after that, it all falls apart. <laughs> I think I, like uh, I okay. think I, okay. I think if I once learn that, I'm going to like that. But it's really a, a struggle for my brain to take all of that in. So mm -hmm. it certainly is a lot. So, but you know, you mentioned white crane and that's one of my favorite moves. Yeah. White crane spreads its wings. I love the spread the wings. Yeah. It yeah. took me over a year to get the sequence down. So be patient with yourself. <laughs> oh, great. <All> right. <laughs> Nina, Nina, is there something you like in section one that you could tell us about? I think I like the last uh, first tail. Oh, okay. That's wonderful. Because, uh, transition to here. Yes. And then the hook. Yes. <laughs> so you like I, single whip as well. Yeah, right. So like, yeah. Mm -hmm. up together. Right. I love hearing that you like grass the bird's tail because you know you learn that in the beginning when you haven't done very much and it's very hard to learn as very first thing. So I love it that you like that. Okay. I like the, the transition from here. Oh, single whip transition. Oh, right. Transition, transition here and then make a hook. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I really enjoy. But okay, good. Oh, we'll get, we'll yeah. get. <laughs> Spread the white. That's my favorite too. Okay. Can you share that? <laughs> Rebecca. Need a practice. Need a practice. <laughs> Perry block and punch. Say, say again, Perry, Rebecca. Perry block and punch. Oh, we got a vote for Perry block and punch. You want to punch someone, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got Perry block and punch. Good. Well, we've just we're covering all of section one that somebody really likes. Okay, Carol on your iPad, is there something you can tell us that you like in section one? Um, <laughs> probably just the first stuff that I left word off and stuff because I'm I'm completely lost. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, Carol's one of the people who was brand new this time. And so you're sort of right yeah. where you should be, feeling a little overwhelmed. Oh man. Okay. But you like the beginning movement. Okay. Great. Yeah. Well we're gonna absolutely do that. And Dave Kelly, you've been away for a couple of weeks, but can you tell us something that you like about section one? Sure. I would I would take it all the way through to um when we, when we do those repetitive uh, parry and blocking, that's where I start to start to lose it just because of <laughs> being out there here and there. <laughs> so up to then, I've enjoyed a lot. Okay, so you like everything. So it's not uncommon to like the things that you actually have a grasp on. That's yeah. perfectly mm -hmm. okay. So good. So we've got people who like the beginning because we've practiced that. We've got the transition oh, okay. to uh, single whip. 
that we've got. We've got a couple boats for White Crane and then the biggie of the brush knee sequence. Several people really like that. And no, John, John's shaking his head no. <laughs> we'll get some practice in and then finishing up with Perry Block and Punch for Rebecca. And nobody said apparent close up, which is also one of the ones I love very much. Yeah. But we haven't yeah. had enough time to practice it, but I really like it. And one of the things I like is that we get to turn our bodies and, and feel that different things that we do when we turn our bodies. So, yeah. okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to practice from the beginning in groupings. So we're going to start with Grass the Bird's Tail. And um, let's just think about what we enjoy when we do it, okay? Let's think about it. I'll call out moves and um, see how you're feeling about it. So we'll make sure we get to each section now in the time that we have, all right? So let's start with that. Um, we'll start from the beginning. We'll start from opening. We'll do Grass the Bird's Tail, and then we'll stop there for a minute and check in with each other, all right? So from prepare, remember that every time we start, it's an opportunity to settle in to that place where our body is ready and we're breathing and we, we say, oh, this is lovely. We're going to do some Tai Chi. Opening, lifting arms, and then floating down. Left ward off, shift, open the body. Move weight, bend, circle, close step. Turning, left arm up to three o'clock. Right ward off, coming across as the toe comes in on the left. Shift left, grab, are your arms open? Now close and step with the right foot, moving forward. Roll back, turning and rotating. And now as you come across, move your weight back, heavy on the back leg. Press, circle in, and expand forward. Push, open square, come back, go over the ball, and push. We're going to include simple width so that Nina can practice the move she loves. Transition, move weight back and front. Pull someone around, get them around there. Come back, palms are down in front of your chest. Turning, make a hook. Lift the left hand, step, rotate, move and strike. Now when you're here, your torso should be upright. So let me turn here just to help you check. If you are leaning like that, uh, push this hip in a little bit to make your torso upright because it's one of the upright moves. All right. So that was our that was that beginning portion of section one, and we know some people said they like it because they practiced it a lot. I'm going. We're going to do it one more time and then keep going. But as we go along, um, I just want you to think about the moves. And if you have questions, please do call out a question and ask, OK? And there's obviously nobody's a finished product. So you can ask any kind of question, but enjoy while you're doing it. Let's do it again. I'll call out a little bit less, and then we'll go on. From prepare. Opening. Left ward off and open. Then circle, step and close and turn. Right ward off. Grab as you come left. Arms are open. Move into right ward. Roll back. And then coming back when you shift. Press, expanding forward, push, and 
single lift. Move back and flatten. So you're pulling someone around, circling. Make your work. Step and step. We'll go on. Raise hands, step forward. Shift right, turn left foot in. Shift the left, arms are open, they circle. You touch with the right heel and you finish. White cream, pulling as you rock back. Close, step to the corner, turn, spread your wings. You're in an empty stance, we're gonna stop there. And I just want to remind you that when we, uh, it's always hard to get enough words in to cue you, but when we finish, raise hands, step forward. We're in an empty, we're in an empty stance on the heel, so we have that narrow stance. Our, our arms are in front of our body center. Even though my torso has turned, my arms are in front, my right arm is higher, and my left fingertips point to the middle forearm, and that this position is the mirror image of what we'll have when we finish hamstrung salute. It's just the mirror image. We're turned the other way, and the left hand is up, and the right hand fingertips point to the middle forearm. So those two are exactly the same. So even though I can't, I don't have enough words to carry out all those cues, we're, we're, uh, we're learning that comparison. And that I'm closer here, you'll see that when I finish uh, in um, step, raise hand, step forward, my palms sort of point angling sideways down. And when I go to the next move, as I start to turn my body a little bit, they rotate and the palm goes out. So that's that little move there, all right? So let's go ahead. We're going to do from push, so we get Nina's single whip in again, and we will go do single whip, Raise hands, step forward, and white cream. And it sounds like most people through this part of the form are feeling a little more comfortable than when we get farther along. So that's good. So we're from push. Do you know how to get to push? Ask yourself, do you know what the footwork is? It's a bow step. We are right foot forward, left foot back. Make sure your bow steps have space in between for that shoulder width. And we are pushing and check to make sure that your elbows are down because we want to keep those elbows down. We don't want them up like this, we want them down. And your fingertips are pointing up because you've got a seated wrist. Single whip. Move right back, you feel your hands flatten. Now turn, bend that left arm, it'll help you pull someone around. Shift back, palms down. Make your hook is your left hand in ward off. Pick it up and step, rotate, stretch. Raise hands, step forward, shifting right. Shift left, open hook, you're nice and open. You're going to heel touch, and as you rock 30%, you get where that left fingertips point to right forearm. White crane, you rotate and pull back, circling your arms, close them and step to the corner, turn square, and put your ball on the floor. Okay, that's white cream, and those are our two empty stances to get us started on empty stance. Okay, any questions up till that point that people wanna check in on? Any questions? All right, we are gonna to go to the famous brush knee sequence. Uh, both feared and loved by <laughs> different people. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do the sequence once through, then we're gonna practice those brush knees to help you out in case that's still an area that uh, you're struggling to figure out. Okay, so Michelle, I know you love the brush knee sequence and so does Yukiko. And I will say that it might be worth noting that both Michelle and Yukiko have been studying Tai Chi for a little bit longer than many of you. And so maybe that's why they love it, because they, they stuck with it, and they know that it becomes a little easier with time. All right, so from white cream. Empty stance. Always see if you know how to get into the posture. It's an empty stance with the ball of the left foot forward. 70% of my weight is back. My arm is overhead, and my, my right arm, and my left is pushing down. 
left brush knee. I rotate that right hand, both hands, pull down right, lift left, swing, step with the heel, sweep arm in, and strike as you turn to nine o'clock. Hands from the loop, heel forward and touch. Now come back, push you with the ball, turn your torso to 10.30, touch with the heel, lift left, push right, and this is the reverse of white cream, or, or raise hand, step forward. Left brush knee, swing and step. Arm in and strike. Right brush knee, move back to middle, lift the left hand, open the foot, your arms are in your center. Move, swing and step. Sweep and step. Left brush knee, shift and lift. Now you move forward, you're going to press with the left, swinging right, and step. Hamstring salute. Heel forward and touch. Push back, heel touch, rock 30%. Left, brush knee. Swing and step. And finish right there. All right. So, I know some of you said that you're still learning, on obviously, that section. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice going back and forth between the right and left brush knee. Um, as if, uh, we're going to skip the loops for right now. And we will just do the, one, the transitions that are in the middle, not starting from white cream. But uh, let's start with a left brush knee. And I think for just this portion, I can be on the same side as you mirror you, so that those of you who are still learning might find it easier. This is going to be your left side, and this is my, uh, this is going to be your right side. So I look like this. I've, I've been striking, and we're going to go from left to right, brush knee. All right, and we're just going to do several of them, and I'll be moving forward. So to get to right brush knee, I shift to middle and lift my left arm up. And then you see how my arms come to the middle as I open my body to the corner. I move forward, swing, press, step with the heel, arm in, sweep, turn, square, and strike. Okay, now we go to the other side. Shift back and lift that arm. Now watch, the arms come in, but the body opens. Move, swing, and step. Sweep, and step. Okay, let's go the other side again. Move back and lift up. Bring your arms together, open. Move in the direction of that front leg. Step, arm in, and strike. I'm gonna back up so we can keep going. Couple more. Move back and lift up. Bring the arms in, open, move, swing, step, sweep, turn, strike. One more. Move back and lift up, open as your arms come in, move forward, press, sweep, step, and finish. So those, that's the transition going back and forth between them. Now, when you do the full sequence, obviously, you've got the lutes in between. Um, lutes are, every time you do a lute, there will always be, a, it's kind of like a left brush knee sandwich. So you have a left brush knee, a lute, and a left brush knee. All right, so we call it a lute sandwich with left brush knee bread, I guess. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to still face this direction, so if anybody wants to see that can be helpful. Then we'll go back to the correct direction before we go on. So we'll start it from white cream. When I'm in white cream, I'm in my empty stance, and I'm going to not be mirroring here. I am going to be the correct side. So this is my left side. That's going to be your right. But I look like this. All right? So for left brush knee, I start a little turn, and I see my right palm, and my left rotates. Pull the right down. Lift up left. Push back. Swing. Step. Now you're really getting someone, you're sweeping them, and then you're striking it. 
hamstrung salute. Someone grabs you, you yield, you bring that back foot in. You push with the toe in the front, turn your torso, heel touch, and as you rock 30%, left up, right down. Left, brush knee, I shift back, I see my right palm, swing, step. Turning, again, I'm striking side. Right, brush knee, I move back and lift up. I open my body, but my arms close. I move in the direction of that front leg, swing, step. Sweep, get ready. And there we go. Left, brush knee, same thing. I shift back and lift up. Arms close, move, swing, step. And really, that's your release of your energy. Hamstrung salute. Let's get back a little so I don't go out of frame. Hamstrung salute. Yield forward and touch. Coming back. Heel touch. Left. Brush knee. Swing and step. And stretch. All right. There's our brush knee. And um, I know some of you are still feeling a little overwhelmed by that sequence, but I, I assure you, it will start to get it will start to get better for sure all right okay so um, any questions before we move on we're going to go to uh, Perry block and punch which Rebecca voted for um, a great choice Rebecca yeah oh Nina's already ready to punch okay uh, I know that Nancy Lucero when she teaches this she always says that women don't get to punch enough in their lives. So when they come to Perry Block and Punch, they really can't wait to punch. So here's a chance for you to get some punching in. All right, so let's go ahead and um, remind ourselves about some things about Perry Block and Punch. That this move has this side to side, side to side. We're twisting that upper body. That's that waist, upper body. And that when we do this, we are parrying. And the first parry is with the front forearm. So when I come down like this, come down like this, it's parrying. It's getting rid of someone. But when I come back up, it's parrying with the back of my hand. I know we have our fists, but at this point, the fist isn't being used. But it's a little bit bent here. And you know what that does is it engages the muscles in your arms. So you can really get a good pairing. So we are forward like this, and it starts like right brush knee. When I pull down, I make a fist, I turn, and my palm of my fist is down because I've just parried someone. And when I come back, it's this back part of my arm, and it, it comes up, it's diagonal. Then I turn, pull it, and it's to my side. The fist palm is up. It's to my hip. Then when I turn square, I rotate, turning the arm, and I punch straight from the shoulder. Okay, that's that. Down, turn, up, turn, pull, rotate, turn. That's your turning, okay? The key here also is that we have the transitional step. Remember, we've got the one line, two side transitional step where when we move forward into that, we touch with the heel and then go into a bow step, right? So it's got that transitional step, which was new at this point. So let's go ahead and do parry block and punch correct direction so you can follow. We are, we have just, we'll do parry block and punch just right now that move alone so that we can practice it and then we'll put it to the rest, okay? So we're in left brush knee, our left foot forward and our right foot back, make sure you're in a bow step. Uh, you have been uh, striking right and pushing left, all right? So parry, block, and punch. Starts just like right brush knee. Shift to middle, lift up. Open as you close, but now you're gonna move forward, make a fist, fist palm down, turn, step one line, two sides, come forward. Now turn, step with your heel as you block, palm up on the right, turn square and punch, and your forearm, your uh, left palm should be across from your right forearm, 
and your body is to nine and fall. All right, let's do that again. From left brush knee, left foot forward. Carry, block and punch. Back and lift. Now as you move forward, make that fist turn. Step one line to side. Come forward, move weight forward. Step, turn, palm to your hip. Turn, square, punch. All right, that's our parry block and punch. Parry block and punch, punch occurs a lot in the form. You get into it in different ways, in different sections, but you always come back to the parry block, the, the punch part, all right? Let's do parry block and punch through cross hands, all right? Then we'll take a look at that move I love, which is apparent closing up. From left, brush knee. Step forward, parry, block, and punch. Move back and lift up. Open as your arms are in center. Move, make a fist, swing, step one line, two sides, forward. Step out as you turn. Now turn to nine o'clock and you punch. Apparent closing up. Turn a little left, flatten that left hand. Left hand palm up, rotate right, cross in the middle. Shift back, turn to the right, and you separate. Left hand, right fingertips, left forearm. Turn square, push forward. Cross hands. Shifting, turning, chopping. Shift left. Close step, and then you come into double ward off. And we will stop there in double ward off to practice. Did I hear someone say something? Was there a question or anything, or is that just some sound? Okay, might have just been a sound that I heard. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at parent closing up. So I'm going to stand this way, and we're going to remind ourselves of returning. So I'm facing 12 o'clock. I'm facing square on to my 12 o'clock. And I'm not doing anything special with my arms first. I'm just gonna put my hands on my shoulders to show you how my upper body is turning. So the first thing is I turn a little to the left, just a little bit. Now I come back to center and I turn to the corner at the right. And then I come back to center. All right, again. Turn a little left, come center, turn right, come center. So those are your turns, and if you do nothing else but accomplish those turns, you're really getting an important part of the move. So I'm going to face you this way to show you that when I finish up with parry, block, and punch, I'm at 9 o'clock. When I turn a little to the left, this hand that has been pointing upward is going to flatten because I'm turning, turning. So the elbow sort of goes to the side a little bit. It does not go back, all right? So I turn and flatten, and when I do that, this right arm is yielding. Someone's actually got me. So I'm yielding, but now I come under my arm and rotate, I close the arms. So it's like I open, close, and now I'm going to get rid of them out of my hand and arm. I'm going to shift back, open that fist, and when I shift back, I'm turned and I'm in this square position where my finger, I've got a big tree here, still got my position, but my fingertips point to the forearm as they tend to do, right? All right, let's do it together here, and then we'll go the correct direction. Turn a little left, yield with the right, flatten. Palm up left, close it in under the right. Turn to the right, shift. Your turn to the right. Now turn square, bring your arms close to your chest, palms up. Push with your legs and push forward with your arms. All right, let's go ahead and do it the correct direction. For a parry block and punch, left foot forward. A pair of closing up. Turn left heel. Palm up, come under the arm. Turn to the right as you separate, shift back. Turn square, your weight is still back, 
Now push it forward. All right, so then the last move of this grouping is cross hands. And uh, I, will, uh, I will do it from this direction just to point out a few things. As if I had finished a pair of closing up, I'm pushing. I move to middle and I start to turn. So do you remember in the beginning, all, the, all through this class, we've talked about if you turn your torso, your arms are connected, right? So in this case, I've been pushing, and when I turn, this right arm starts to change. The, the tiger's mouth angles differently because I'm turning it, all right? So especially those of you who've been doing this while, you want to feel that body direct your arms. Cross hands. Move back, start your turn. Now, arc up, down, and chop to the corner. Shift your weight to the left, make your palms go back, close step, and when you bring that right arm up, the right's on the outside, and you're in double warrior. So I want to talk about when we turn and chop. We're chopping with this edge of our hand. So when we come, it's not just a wave, it's bringing this part of our hand across and chopping to the corner. Um, and it's a nice feeling. It's like, but we don't stop. We keep going and come back. So let's practice that. I'll do it from here and then I'll go correct direction. Cross hands. I shift to middle. I turn my toes to 12 o'clock. My weight's on the right, but I shift left. I'm rotating and my palms go back. Close step and bring the right arm up. So, when I, when I get my, I, I've chopped, I'm extending my arms to three and nine o'clock and I can't go much more there, so I rotate. It's really at the elbow, it's not like that. I'm not doing that. I have to keep my shoulders down and my elbows down and I rotate so that my arm, my palms are back. So let's go in the correct direction from push after apparent closing up. Cross hands. Shift, turn, chop. Shift left, palms back. Close step and come up. And when you finish, your right arm is on the outside. When they cross down here, the right is on the inside towards your body. Right on the inside. From here, push up with that right hand and look at your and that'll get you there, okay? All right, so that, that's that move. We had a parent closing up and cross hands. Nobody chose as their favorite, but I do like a parent closing up myself. All right, so what, uh, any, if there are any questions, please ask. How are people doing? How are people doing? Dave, you haven't been here for a couple weeks. I hope it's starting to come back a little bit for you. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go through the form, and uh, there is some music. I've, I've been told it's kind of quiet music. So I'm going to make one effort here to see if I can bring it up a little bit louder, and then if not, um, we'll just do it the way I have it. But I can't find 103. That's what I need. Oh, here we go. Let me try this. Mm, no. All right. We're going to play it the way I have it, <laughs> and I'll get this out of here. So I've got the music, and it'll be Nancy Lucero calling it. And so this, there won't be any cues about what to do with your body. So I might call a few out over it just to help some of you who get a little bit lost at that brush knee <laughs> sequence to help you out. But just enjoy moving through it. Whatever level you're at is, is fine to enjoy Tai Chi. Sometimes it's okay to let some of the details drop by the side if you can still enjoy moving your body and feel your body moving, okay? So let me bring this up and we will do our section one here together. All right, I don't think there is too much um, 
leeway. I can have to start the music and then I'll run to get to place, but she might start a little bit before I get there, okay? All right, that was not the beginning. Hold on. Let's make sure that we get in the back. Nope, hold on. It's already has started. Let me get back to the beginning. Yang Fan Tai Chi Traditional Form. Prepare. Opening. Grasping the bird's tail. Pour it off. Left. Board off, right. Go back. Press. Push. Single whip. Raise hands and step forward. Quad crane. Spreads its wings. You have to be brush. Swing and, and step. Hand strokes the loot. Forward, step in, push back. Empty step. You brush. And push. Right knee brush and push. Left knee brush and push. You should be at nine o'clock here. Hand strums the lute. Empty stance, heel touch. Let me brush and push. Step up, parry, block, and punch. Make your fist one line, two sides. Apparent, closing up. Cross hands. Shift and turn, chop to the corner. Shift left. She's going to go on, but we will stop there. Return to the mountain. So she's, she was going on to section two. So we didn't get the chance to exactly finish section one there, but that's what that is. So there's an experience some of you have not had, which is doing it mostly to the call and with music. And if you are new and still struggling, it's hard to do it without the assistance, but I wanted to give you the chance to feel that and also to hear, if you could hear the music, to enjoy a little bit of the relaxation that music provides. Good. All right, well, we are at the going to be at the end of our class, but I'd like to just check in with people, um, hear what some of you um, are planning to do. Um, I know a lot of you go to a lot of classes, so yeah, some of you ask everything, but Nina, um, you've been doing so great in this class, and I know you were new. Do you have plans to continue in any particular class? Yes, I will still uh, practice on section one. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Okay. Carol, you've, you've been a very loyal member of the class. Do you have plans to continue with your Tai Chi here? Uh, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. My knee's really bothering me. Mm. Okay. I know that you've got some knee issues. I'd be happy to talk to you more about protecting your knees and Tai Chi. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can do that. Okay, Michelle, what, what are your grand plans? You go to so many classes. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm learning all three simultaneously. So right now I'm concentrating on getting all the sequence of two down and learning three. Okay, that sounds great. Yukiko, I think you're in every class we ever taught. Do you have a particular <laughs> plan? Uh, I keep practicing. <laughs> well, that you do. Are you going to attend multiple classes still? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Dave, what are your plans here? Uh, well, we have a busy July and August, but I'm going to be popping in on, I think it's, is it Didi's classes that are going to be? Monday? Yes, and Didi's going to be announcing this in just moments. So you just gave oh, her okay. a lead in, but yes, Didi's going to have classes and um, you're welcome anytime to pop in on all of them. Okay. How do we get, how do we get that link to that okay. class? It's on the website for the school. And uh, if you go to the school website, there's a place where it says register here. You click mm -hmm. on that. But if you have any trouble, let one of us know. I'll know and, and Dee Dee's going to be sending out some information. Okay. So, okay. Um, I'll make All sure right. that you can get that, okay? And how about you, John? Any plans? Uh, we're going to be repeating this probably five or six times in order to get it in my head. <laughs> That's, That's about right. That. That's about right. <laughs> It helps to write yeah. down the moves too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes, yeah. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. yeah, I got the, I got them. Yeah, I sent that sheet out in the beginning. So if anybody has lost it or is missing it, I can still provide it to you. And Rebecca, you've been to a lot of our classes. How are you going to show up for us for Tai Chi? The same way. <laughs> same way, lots of classes, okay. Well, I'm so happy that people are thinking about different ways to continue their Tai Chi. And Dee Dee Helke is here. And since she's going to next week at this very time, be standing where I'm standing, which is a bizarre statement to make in Zoom. Um, <laughs> in her space, in this room, she'll be teaching class. Dee Dee, why don't you tell people about your scheduling for section one and their options, okay? Sure, sure. Well, it's, it's, it's really, really easy. Um, I mean, yeah, you can hear me. Um, let me just say that, uh, I'll be I'll be opening the room. Um, is there a class before us? Mm -hmm. I, uh, there is the practice for section three, but Cheryl always finishes on time. And so uh, usually you can open the room at 345, but 350 is fine for opening the room. OK, well, I'm 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 used to opening at 345, but whenever it's available, I can see that online. So whenever it's available, I'll be opening the classroom at quarter of or a little later, or whatever makes sense. And um, yeah, and we'll we'll go from four to five, just like uh, it, just like Judy did. And uh, I tend to put um, I've got a nice floor here, so I tend to put lines on my floor, which helps a little bit with directions. And the one thing that I do um, uh, particularly is I go for using your imagination. So we'll be throwing we'll be pitching balls before we do a brush knee. And um, we'll be, you know, there's, and we'll be putting butterflies on our arm as we're learning our body shape and things like that, because I particularly find that, that those kinds of images help me, help me integrate my body. And, and some people it works for and some people it doesn't, but you know, give it a try. Uh, I like to also think, I think it, I think it brings a little fun into our, our time together to just be a little wacky and, um, and uh, sort of be like young people learning too, because um, that's, a, that's a good way to be. I have to say, Dee Dee, whenever you say that, I go, please don't tell me that because I do not have good associations to being a young person. Uh, okay. Things in my body. But I will tell everyone that Dee Dee's imagination is wonderful and helps you <laughs> even if you're in an adult body. So don't think you have to go to a child body for that. It's so true. But sometimes people say that they're remembering things from like, kindergarten mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah it is mondays too right yes same time well it's actually it's twice a week so i should tell you that 
So okay. it's Mondays at four. And then it's repeated at, well, actually it's, it's Saturdays at nine and it's repeated Mondays at four. Same class, but obviously you get questions, different questions in different classes. So instead of having a practice, we will have two classes and each class will have practice in it. So, um, cause we have a bunch of folks who are, uh, for whom the weekend is really helpful to them because they, they work. So, so now they'll get to start the long form uh, Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. or Monday afternoons at four Pacific time. And then Nancy, are you gonna do the Saturday review of everything still or not at 10, 30? Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we, have, we will have practice at 10.30, yes. 10.30, okay. So nine for uh, DD for um, section one and then 10.30 for you for a review. Yes, section, all practice, yeah. But our practice in section one will continue to be the whole the whole section. It will not match where Dee Dee is in her. Right. Right, yeah, yeah. But honestly, I, I really encourage you, Dee Dee's a fabulous instructor and you're gonna love her class and very imaginative, lots of fun. Um, and I'm gonna repeat what I said to you one week. I don't know if all of you were here, but you will find that when you take this class again, or for the third time or the fifth time, you will have discovered that you have grown a new set of ears and a new set of eyes and even some new body parts because you will find that the teacher says things you go, oh, I never heard that before. And in fact, maybe you did hear it in some fashion. And you'll think, I never saw that in movement before. And, and some of it you may have seen, some of it will be new, no question, but you'll be able to absorb differently and feel differently and hear differently. And you know, I once, I have notebooks of things my instructors told me, and I once found a notebook from one of my very first instructors. And I had taken notes after the class and I could not believe the things she was telling us that I thought I had learned three years later in refinement and they, just went over my head completely. So uh, it's a very exciting, exciting experience to repeat the section. It's never a repeat, it's a new experience. So I want to wish you all the best in your continuing Tai Chi. You are all invited to practice on Saturday at 1030. The first 15 minutes is section one and it's a very good compressed practice of section one there for you, okay? Any final questions for Didi or for me? So, I, so I'm assuming I'm assuming that Didi has my contact information. I don't actually yet, but maybe I'll talk to Judy about getting that contact information from her, and then um, and then I can send you out the uh, uh, the the link to register, and then more information once you do. Great. Yeah, that would be very nice, Didi, and that would be appreciated. Yeah. Okay. I'll make sure Dee Dee has access to all the information through the school, but if it's easier, Dee Dee, I'll just help you have the class list for this group. And that would okay. be great. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we'll close our class. Oh my gosh, it's one minute to five. We are on our usual schedule. So let's have one final salute. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the privilege of being with me for session one. And I'll look forward to seeing you around the school, such as it is in our Zoom rooms, all right? So enjoy and have a beautiful day. It is still a gorgeous day out there. So thanks for showing up today and doing Tai Chi with me. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Judy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, Yukiko. Bye, people. You've done just a great, a great class. I've been at probably more than half of them and I learned a lot so thank you was my was my mic off no it was on it was on okay it just looked off for me for a minute anyway oh. we 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 heard you fine okay. all the time good. Yeah. good all right well passing the baton Dee Dee. <laughs> it's all yours and it's you know it's going to be great because your class will be very different and so even if they got very little, it'll be totally, it won't feel to them defeating because it'll feel so new to them. I think that that's really important. I, I think it's good that, that, that we're same and we're different. We'll hit the same stuff, but just a little different. Yeah, I think it's.